Hey again, everybody. I'm here today to go over a chord progression again and use it in the context of an actual song and show you how you can use this to help you learn how to sing and play at the same time. For this chord progression, you only need four chords. So you're going to need the C chord. And in this case, it's going to be in root position. And you can see it in this blue down here on the piano keyboard. Then the G chord, which we're going to be doing in the first inversion of the G chord, which is B, D, G. And then the A minor chord, which is also a first inversion in C, E, A. And then the F chord, which is the second inversion as C, F, A. So let's go back to the C chord. This chord we're going to play with fingers one, three, and five. And we're going to do this with the right hand because this is all about singing and playing, not just playing the melody on the piano for this. So we we'll start with the C chord. We're going to move to this G chord. The reason we're doing it this way is it keeps everything close together. Look how close together everything is. If I go to C again, go back to C, then to G. And then to get to the A minor chord, all you've got to do is watch the blue notes. They just move up a step. Now for both of these chords, G and A, we're going to use fingers one, two, and five. This is easier on your hands, I promise. So do this, even if it feels uncomfortable at first. Let's go back to C. C chord. G chord. A minor. Now, to get to F, we're just going to move this middle note up one step. Switch to finger three as you do it. Those are the first four chords. Let's do them all in a row. C chord. G chord. A chord. F chord. All right, now let me show you what else happens in the verse, just a little bit different, is when you go back and do it again, each time you're going to skip the A minor chord, go to F and play an extra C at the end, like this. Here's the first time through, C, G, A minor, F, then we go back. C, G, F, then back to C. That's going to be your entire verse of the song, Let It Be. Now, if you're wondering what these numbers are under here, these numbers are going to correspond to what we would use to name this chord progression. This is a one, five, six, four progression. A lot of songs use one, five, six, four. Not all of them do it in the key of C. Now, let it be is in C. Not all songs are. Don't stop believing. Let it be, of course. Let it go from Frozen. Hey, Soul Sister. Take me home, Country Road. Auld Lang Syne. Um, well, it's a little bit adapted. The original would only be three chords. And then even the chorus to Into the Unknown works with this chord progression even though it's not the chord progression in the actual music, but it does work. Okay, next step is singing a verse with it. You don't want to get any more complicated than just playing these chords. Try this. You got to start singing before the first chord. I said just play the chord, get the note into your head. The first note is actually the top of the chord. Here's a key to remember, is your first note is not always going to be the bottom of the chord, the middle of the chord, the top of the chord. It's different for each song, but it will almost always be a note in the chord. So let me do, go over one verse with you with this one. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. Speaking words of wisdom, let's switch to F, let it be. 
All right, you got that. So if you don't, just keep rewinding this and go over it a bunch of times until you get this. All right, now let's go over the chorus section. So choruses in a song would usually use either a different chord progression or a different combination of the chords you're already using. So in this case, we're gonna be starting with the A minor chord first. So let's go over these, A minor first, then to the C chord then to the F chord, then back to C. That's the first half. Let's do that again. A minor, C, F, C. Then we go back to what we did for the verse and do the second half of that, which is C, G, skip the A minor, F, C. So when you're singing this too, um, I usually suggest something. When something gets really high in your voice, even if it isn't quite out of range, if you're able to take it down the octave just to learn it, this can really help with your singing and playing. Because if you try to sing up too high, you're going to have to focus too much on um, the playing or the singing, and that can get in the way of technique. So instead of singing, let it be, sing it down here, let it be, for men and for women down in the let it be. So let me show you that. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. See? how that works, works pretty well. If it's an extra high chorus, you can easily take it down the octave. For the second half of it, whisper words of wisdom, let it be. So see, it works pretty well to do that, and then you can take it up as you've learned it, and as you don't really have to think so much about what the chords are. Now, if you want to make this a little bit more interesting, in your left hand, you can play with the chords by playing the root of the chord. The root is the name of the chord. So let's say I'm doing the chorus. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. All right, so hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Or if you have any, um, any requests for specific songs, I can take a look at it and let you know if it uses this chord progression or if it is something different, and maybe I can even make another tutorial on that. All right, thanks so much. If you liked that video, please give me a like. If you have any comments, please leave them underneath. And if you want to see more videos, look to the ones over on the right of the screen right now and take a look at one of these or any of my other videos. And please subscribe if you want to see anything new when it comes up. Thanks a lot.